Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to add a section called a slider, and the user should have to have a slider option. They can add a slider to their website and the homepage, and they can display it anywhere in the homepage. So let's start doing that. Before I do that, this video is sponsored to you by MindArt. They are the leading agency, the e-commerce agency in Sydney, and they are the backbone of most fashion companies in Australia. So let's start diving to our tutorial. First of all, let's remove this escape content. You don't remove it, you hide it. Why? For readability. The reason people put this one is if someone print this one, what happened is that it should display here. Or if the JavaScript is not loading, that is for accessibility reason here. So if I scroll up here, this is where that accessibility display here. In Australia, if your website does not have an accessibility, people can uh, complain about it and they can find you so that's why you have to care take care of the uh, accessibility also visually hidden it is not working because we are not using their css stuff like that so i will remove this stuff and what i will do is i will just sr only or a screen reader only this is the bootstrap style so if you add this one to this one it will be accessible only for the screen readers so if you refresh your page uh, it is still here let's check out it did upload it and it is gone now so it will take a few seconds to upload that's why it's gone now so now let's add our section called a slider this video might be in two videos uh, in two parts but I will try my best to finish it in one video so if I come here currently we have some sections these sections are here header these are uh, added like dynamically here like statically this is the section for the header and this is for the footer that's why they always stick here header and footer they stick here but these one are dynamic you can remove them you can add more of them for example i can remove all these sections from here from the home page as you can see now it is empty but you cannot remove header and footer the reason you cannot remove them is because these are not hard coded here so those sections have been like you can add those sections to your website if you come here you can add them so we will have a dynamic one something like this one i will duplicate one of them called image with text i will duplicate this one and i will remove the extra code from here i'll call it image slider dot liquid that's it and now as i said i will remove the code which whichever code it has so i can write everything from scratch and you can understand what you are going to build also these are extra and this section must have an ID called image slider. Whatever ID you, uh, class you can give it, it is good for designing later. So these are the settings that currently they have. So I cannot remove all of them. I will remove the presets because we are not using the preset. And also I will remove some of these options. These are extra. I don't need them. So I will remove them behind the scene to make the video short. So it is clean up now and ready. First of all, it has a title, a header called uh, image slider, and it has a category in the preset, which is in the image category. If I come to the page here, if I add the slider, as you can see, this is image slider, and it is in the image category. You can add this one. Currently, it has a heading, which is the only setting. Now you can have your images here. You might have upload image one, image two, image three, image four, the same as if I add a uh, product image. Check out this one. Let's see. This is the, the setting. You can have image one, image two, image three, image four, image five. You can add all the settings here, but that is not how you do it, right? So you cannot tell people like you can upload only ten image because the setting has ten image. How about if you have the same style of adding another block under it, the same way as we add here, like add section. If there was something like add section here, it is not possible if you add section inside another section. But there is something else called blocks you can add blocks here let's try it if you come to the shopify documentation here if you check out the schema here they have something called blocks you can come to the blocks and this is how you can add those blocks so let's add one of them to our website i think we already discussed about this one so if i come here this is the setting and these are the general setting but like the same as setting we have presets we have blocks here you can add these blocks and this is called the type squirt and you can give it a name 
and it, each of them have a setting for now if I save it this for example I save it for now and let's check out if we have an error yes we have an error because we didn't put the comma here if I save it for now let's check out if this is uploading successfully or not it did successfully upload it and now let's check out our website and see if we have options for adding more blocks to, to here if I check out the setting refresh it you should uh, be able to see a block here if I add the same slider here because I didn't save that's why it didn't put it here now you have another content here called add quote here you can add as many as you want instead of this quote you can add images right and then you can display them you can give the user the limit for this one but you can uh, add unlimited also so if I scroll down here these are the blocks and you can add the limits to this one how many user can add this one or uh, you can give it a global sitting max block here you can add this one to the sitting up there if you add this one the user will have to have only two of them so what I can say is I can say 10 of them I, I don't want to give them like option of adding like unlimited but you can do it so if I come back to my course here this should not be quotes so I will customize it now behind the scene and add a setting called image slider also so here it is I just add the setting of an image picker here and I give it the ID of image also a title it must have a title so if I come to my page here you can add a section now add the slider add it inside this slider it has a title that you can display to see the title of the slider you can have whatever images you want and then user can add image now this is the first image the second image and they have an image as well as the title you can display the title above the image you can have a button you can have whatever you want you can extend it this is just the basic functionality you can have a paragraph that you want to display above those image but that's up to you what you want to add so let's add some image behind the scene and I will show you how you can display it in the front end so now I have added three images here and they do not have any title it's fine and I saved it so let's display it here if I come to my sections currently our section is empty that's why it is not showing anything first of all let's display the title this should be easy right I will come here and I will say it should have an h3 here and inside the h3 we will have a section dot settings dot what is the ID called title here and we can call it title and also you can give it a class of uh, let's say class of h3 and title and it should be text center you can give this customizable option to the user but this is what we want here so it should display the title I hope nothing is wrong here so it's fine and let's display the slider down there so how you can display these images as the user is going to write them since there are multiple images for the blocks we have to use loop if you have if you know programming or JavaScript you have done it you know what is loop right loop can th loop through each of them and it will display each of them with the options that they have inside so how the loop is going to work if you come to the again I will come to the Shopify uh, documentation here and I will show you how the loop is going to work and you can loop through all those products and display them so before I do that one let's see what are the options available for displaying the product like the slider options first of all there are there is a slick slider you can use it it is nice it is open source and it has a lot of fun I like it too but there is another one for bootstrap it comes out of the out of the box with bootstrap I haven't used it yet uh, in my Shopify projects I use this link but let's give it a try in this video and see how it is going to be it is it looks nice since we use bootstrap for it looks nice to me and we will use this one so let's come to our code here and I will come open the, my editor here and let's see how you can display them I will come to the Shopify documentation here and I will search for loop here if you search for loop this is how you can find it rendering section blocks this is how you can render it it will run a for loop to the section blocks which are the blocks and in different cases it will display it for me this is how I do it first of all we write uh, the for loop here and we will end it here and we will display whatever is inside the loop what else is going to say is for block in a section blocks it will display it will just put each of those block in the block and now this variable block will have access 
to each of these settings whether this is image or title so you can display them here they have some case here let's say if the block type is different you can display another thing for us it doesn't matter since we are going to display the images here so for me how we are going to display those here that is easy right I will come here I'll copy the code everything from here and I'll paste it here if you know a little programming you know most of these codes are extra because they are looping a lot here so I will close the sidebar also this is the code and it should display a slider for us in the first place so if I save it for now I'll save it let's see if this is going to process it because we have written a little code here let's come to our website and see if we get any error here I will refresh it since we add the images in the setting and we saved it it should display it here also let's check out these are the images but you cannot loop through them yes you can loop through them a slider is working fine and I am happy about that but there is no image for that I know right because the images are just three dots here and this is the alt here and instead of these images here we can use the block to loop through them so how you do this one I'll cut this part of the code and I'll clean up this white space this should be easy for most programmers if you have used loop a lot so what is repeating here if I close this part of the carousel I can see this part of this is only going to repeat itself other part is not going to repeat itself so we don't need this carousel item here so all we have to do is add the loop here and we will use one of them so I'll paste the loop here and we will bring one of them inside the loop oops I missed something I think yeah this is the loop and I will cut this part and I'll paste it here so this is inside the loop here I will remove the rest of it so the loop will do it itself so for now I don't need to have the active one the active class here I will show you how you can add active class also so for now I will save it now it should display those four images but for the image here I have to display them properly here is how you can display and instead of the sections dot whatever you had now you say block which refer to this block dot settings dot whatever the ID if I scroll down again this is the setting and this is the ID which is image here and it should be image and it must have a filter also right so it should be IMG URL filter with the flag of master and it will display the full image here for me if I save it for now this will be the label above it for now it has a tile and alt also this is empty alt is something you must have like if you want to care about accessibility the images are not loading it should display the alt this is something necessary so if I refresh it for now let's see how it is going to display our slider here if we did everything right it should display but it is not displaying this slider I will refresh again to see if we are missing anything again it is not displaying anything if I check out this is our heading headline coming inside the example here this is the inner cursor yes this is looping through three items which we know is right it shows the images but if I open one of these images yes images exist here but it is not displaying them here it has display of block and everything looks fine but it's not displaying here I will fix the issue now so the reason it is not displaying the image is because it does not have an active clause we remove the active clause from the carousel item here if I check out here the documentation they have an active clause here so we must have the active here we cannot have active for all of them I will add it let's say for testing I will add active to this one and it will add active to all of them so it should add active only to the first one or the one the user selected so if I refresh my page here this time it should display all the images but we might have some other issues because all of them cannot be active at the same time it shows my image it shows the title and the paragraph here but I cannot navigate between them the reason is because all of them are active now if you check out the code here this is active this is active so the first one should be active right how you do this one you can just write a condition here you can write an if condition in the liquid and see if the loop index is equal to the first one 
can write if here and let's close the end if here oops not here it should add the class let's say conditionally end if and now what is the if here you can search for the loop index here if you come to the cheat sheet and search for the loop and it has a uh, inside your loop you have access to the for loop dot first for loop dot index and it will display that either this is the first one this one return true or false if it is the first index of the loop or it is the first image that you have here it will return true that way you can add the image so if I come here I will add this code and this is if the loop the f the for loop dot first is equal to true which is the condition add the active Otherwise, do not add it because next time it will not be the first one. This will not add to the rest of it. So if I save it for now, I will come here and I will refresh my page. Let's see if this is displaying. So while it is doing its work and displaying it, instead of this uh, title, why not we display the titles that we have here? So what was the title ID here? I will just output block dot settings dot title. And you know where we have the title sitting here the ID is equal to title now it should display the proper title if they have it but if they don't it will not display anything you have to write a condition if they do not have anything do not display anything but I will not do that for now I'll save it and if you check out this slider is it working now yes it is working just fine if you click in this navigations everything works fine and if you refresh it this time it will not show any label unless that the slider that you have here have a title here if you have a title it will display under it so it looks fine to me for now and the slider is working that's it for this video it should not have the title here let's remove the title because the the top title is really annoying so you can remove this one and you can come here and it should remove it from here but I will give it a condition if the user does not sit anything do not add the h3 also here so you can write a condition above it so i will do it behind the scene thank you for watching the source code is available on github just search the video title and you will find the commit based on that video and you will see the changes that's it for this video i will see you in the next video